My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. All right, today we got a 1973 Mercury Cougar convertible. Just a really nice looking, respectable, solid, honest car. I got a K-Code Mustang Fastback from this same collector. This is the second car we're selling out of his collection. You can go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study pictures top to bottom. That's where you find the prices on all of the collector cars that we offer for sale, volocars.com. You can enjoy the videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. I notice the top's down, so join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, underneath the car is solid. The floors, the frame rails, all that looks to be original, good, solid metal. The only thing I seen that they replaced was the inner lower quarter panels. The strip of metal down at the bottom on each side was replaced. Other than that, it looked really solid. Um, the exhaust system is brand new dual exhaust front to back. Miscellaneous things were done. In the front end, I can see the sway bar bushings, the uh, tie rod ends. Uh, a couple other things were done in the uh, front suspension. The leaf springs were recently replaced. You look up at the motor, it's clean, it has a new fuel pump. It has the FMX automatic transmission. Uh, it's got a cruising gear for a rear end. I think it was like a three to one ratio, something like that. Uh, the original rear end still in the car. So underneath is just very respectable. The body itself is excellent. I'm looking into it right now, like I could reach in and grab what's in the reflection. Now this was a dark metallic green originally. Now it's got a little more of an emerald green. It's tweaked, a little sharper looking color uh, was put on the car when they painted it. I can tell you the body is straight. I'm looking all over and it's really nice and straight. A little chip right here touched up on the edge of the hood. Uh, the metal flake is laid out uniform. It's not blotchy or cloudy uh, and the color is uniform all the way around. Uh, it's a clear coat finish that's very glossy. This hood fits nice and square. Yeah, this side's just as straight. If you want to get really fussy, I'm not even going to call it a door dent. Now I can't even find it, but I did. I can't even find it now. I saw, I saw one little minor dimple there, but it's smooth along the bottom. That's the most important. No rust blisters, nothing like that. No problem areas. So it has the correct antenna, it has sport mirrors. I'm gonna say the windshield was replaced because it looks crystal clear. Door handles are not new, but they're shiny. They are, he said brand new tires, so I don't know when he put them on, but he did say brand new. And the Magnum 500 chrome wheels are new as well. The convertible top is a Riggs Brothers top. They do quality work. It's a power top, it's in excellent shape. This is all in real nice shape, fits really nice. The rear bumper has been re-chromed. Uh, got the nice tail light lenses. So in the trunk, it's just solid. Uh, it has a car cover, has a trunk mat, tire cover, has a spare, has a jack. It's a box right here with an original, I think it's an original radio, and the original hubcaps are in that box. Weather strip looks like it was replaced. The seams in the jam here are real nice and tidy. Just a nice interior. It's not ripped up or beat up. Uh, seats look real good. Door panels, I think, have probably been redone. Dash pad looks really nice. Uh, it has a rim blow horn. It's actually on the rim of the steering wheel. Uh, it's got a center console with bucket seats. He says all the gauges work. He says the clock works, but he unplugged it so the battery don't go dead. Interior lights work, has Cougar embroidered floor mats. All the seat belts are there. It's a 351 Windsor motor. 
power steering, power disc brakes in front. Jams were painted, weather strips are real nice, sill plates are shiny, door shuts real nice. Getting back to the motor compartment, it's a really nice, proper engine compartment. I'm not going to say it's show quality, but it's it's all there. Uh, the air cleaner, for example, it has the tubes going off it down to the manifold, the heat riser tube. It has the tube going to the pollution can. Uh, it has all the ductwork, stickers, uh, all the wiring, hoses, washer bottle, fan shroud hood insulation, the battery's bolted down, the horns are still here, everything's clean and proper. Water pump's been replaced. So it's a very, very tidy, respectable uh, motor compartment just like it should be. Now why don't we start it up? It runs real nice. It's got an AM FM cassette player in here. Exhaust makes a little noise because it looks like Flowmaster mufflers. The engine bay is not rusted. The factory spot welds and seams are nice and crisp. So there you have it. You want something that's a little unique, still a handsome, good-looking car, very respectable car. Here it is. That's my impression anyway. You can go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways on there to contact the salesman. If you have questions or concerns, they will try and help you with those. They can also get this delivered anywhere in the country. They can get you financed. So go to volocars.com if you're interested in this car. If you just enjoy watching the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.